going to be the greatest Pokemon master in the whole world! Son of a bitch! Pokemon Go has taken the world by storm, officially becoming the most downloaded mobile game in history. It's bringing people from all different backgrounds together around a common interest. But while it's fun to get out there in the real world and nerd out with your fellow Pokemon geeks, the game is very, very broken. I spend more time fighting with the app than I do battling Pokemon, so I wanted to put out a couple of suggestions that could potentially fix or improve Pokemon Go. First, they need to upgrade or expand their servers. This is the most obvious, and while the most recent update seems to have reduced these issues quite a bit, there are still plenty of times when the biggest hurdle to play in the game is just getting into the game. Server issues often make logging in impossible, and once you're in, you're not by any means free and clear of problems. I've lost quite a few awesome Pokemon simply because the game froze after I caught it, and thus the catch never registered. So fix that shit, and when you do, give everybody who had to deal with these issues a reward for sticking with the game. Something like 40 Pokeballs should probably suffice. Second, add some kind of chat functionality. Despite the existence and friendly competition in different teams, most people don't really care about that stuff and are perfectly friendly when you're out and about, regardless of what team you're on. We all love Pokemon and that trumps everything else, which is why real life communities have become such a big part of the game. There is even an unofficial third party app called GoChat, which allows trainers to leave notes behind at specific locations for other people to find. Did you see an Onyx by the blue truck at the park? Leave a note there so the next trainers know where to look. I once found a Charmander in the middle of a gas station. I would have loved to have been able to post a virtual note letting other people know to look there. But this functionality is not built into the game, which means not everyone playing has access to the notes, and in order to use GoChat you have to exit the game to open this other app, which means you might be logged out, which guess what, means fighting with the servers again. Also GoChat has its own server issues, as it's just a non-profit indie project that is being completely overwhelmed to the point of the developer losing lots of money, so adding this functionality is a no-brainer. Third, fix the issues with the screen. The game is only active if the screen is on. Why? Not only is that super inconvenient, but it's also a huge safety issue. Kids are playing this game while skateboarding and riding bikes. Do you really want them distracted by their screen? The game should still work with the screen off and use audio notifications and vibrations to alert us when we're near Pokemon, Gym, or a Pokestop and allow us to keep the game running in our pocket. Doing this will seriously reduce the risk of kids getting hit by cars, cars that are most likely driven by people also playing Pokemon Go. And while I'm on this subject, the Android version of this game has this really annoying problem of the phone going to sleep while the game is being played, even in battery saving mode, which means you not only have to have your phone screen on, but you have to actively keep your phone awake. This is not a standard issue by the way, I play a lot of games that keep the screen on so long as you're in the game, and when I watch videos the screen stays on until the video is over. The function is keep screen on, and should be implemented into this app ASAP. Fourth, we should be able to see other trainers in the area with the same vagueness as Pokemon in the area. You can then chat with the other players using the GoChat feature, or open up an initial line of communication without the need to shout out, Hey, you playing Pokemon Go? You guys all playing Pokemon Go too? Oh yeah! Fifth, we should be able to trade with other trainers. This was a big part of the original Game Boy games that could really help build the community sprouting up around Pokemon Go. And according to Pokemon lore, certain Pokemon can only evolve after being traded, so this is something they're going to have to add. Sixth, we should be able to battle other trainers. Similar to gym battles, but with a lot less on the line. Just a friendly battle between friendly rivals to train and power up our Pokemon when there isn't a gym around, or the gym is way too strong to try to unseat. Seventh, the Pokemon Casino in the original Game Boy games was a nice little mini game and could be incorporated as a way to spend Pokecoins and interact with the app even when there aren't any Pokemon around or you're down for the night. My house is completely void of Pokemon activity, so a little slot machine in which I can win more Pokeballs or incense would be a worthy use of my Pokecoins and a great way to interact with the app when it would otherwise be useless. Eighth, places like vets, doctor's offices, and pet stores should be marked as Poke Centers where you can heal your Pokemon without the need for potions. And like Pokestops, it could take time to reset after each heal if you really wanted it to. Ninth, avatar customization is laughable at best. They need to add a lot more customization options to this game. I want my avatar to look more like me, not like this felt sexy motherfucker. And why can't we have a retro looking avatar like from the original games? Or one that looks like Ash from the cartoon? Why are we stuck with this Yu-Gi-Oh guy? Tenth, the ability to suggest Pokestops inside the app itself would be great. There are a lot of landmarks that I assumed would be Pokestops, but then when I went there, they just weren't. The game is based on Ingress, a popular for its time augmented reality game by the same company that has been around for about four years and from which Pokemon Go gets all of its landmark data. That game allowed players to suggest landmarks, though it was largely through their website. The ability to allow players to suggest landmarks in Pokemon Go and submit a photo and description right there on the spot from the app would seriously open up the map a lot more. And while I'm on the subject of the map, 
Allowing players to set custom waypoints would be a great way to stay focused on a destination or route when there are no gyms or Pokestops near you. Anyway, those are some ideas I had to improve the really, really great game that is really, really broken called Pokemon Go. Do you agree with my list or have anything you'd add? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I release new videos every week. And until next time, keep being awesome. Who's that Pokemon? Oh, gee, I wonder who that could be. It's Ditto! God damn it. <laughs>